<laughs> if you don't know what outdoors means, see we have doors, they go either way, right? <laughs> now sometimes when you go one way into the door, there's walls around you. That means you're indoors, right? If you go through the door the other way, bingo, you should be outdoors. That's where we are now. Now, lucky they don't have a door here that you may mistakenly walk through because then you go too far outdoors. In fact, not only would you be outdoors, but you'd be in water. Oh, welcome back to Harley Throttle Juice. We are here uh, beside the Hawkesbury River at the beautiful Brooklyn Bridge, which is just there, and whatever this place is called, Estuary, I think it's called. Gangle's here beside me. <laughs> I just thought I'd make a brief introduction. As you've seen from the thumbnail, <laughs> comedian legend Steve Hughes is with us today, and also a great mate legend, Pete. And the reason why I'm doing this quick little bio and intro <laughs> is to just give a bit of a background. How do we know each other? Well, us three shared a unit in Parramatta in the late 80s. 2820. Uh, 2820. Uh, it was a two bedroom unit. There's three of us. You may want to know how that panned out. Well, we had a coin toss to see who would get the room on their own. And this Nuffy over here won the toss, and I had to uh, share a room with this. Didn't he, have, did, didn't he have the bigger room? He, he, had, he had the bigger room. How did that work? I don't know. And neither of the rooms had a window, did they? Yeah, we had a window. Yeah, oh, yeah we, we had, had a window. windows. I don't think you had a window. No, I don't think he had a window. Mm -hmm. How did hey. he get the bigger room if he's by himself? I, I don't. Well, he won the toss. Yeah, but still, yeah. we should get the bigger room. Well, these are little blokes, too. We just too. had our own tossing in the other room. Yes, it was absolutely disgusting. But anyway, Steve has become uh, a worldwide phenomenon in the comedy landscape. So uh, he's now back in Australia. I'm not sure how long he's back in Australia for. Hopefully, definitely. But given your past history, you'll be back and forward between the UK and here. Depending on how the world works out these days, you know, because yeah. the climate change, you won't be able to go under planes anymore because that'll be, you know, the stronger CO2s. And as Gita Thunberg has explained to us, how dare you? How dare you ride your motorbikes around on your Harley Davidsons, killing the wildlife, and you, you should become vegans. How dare you? Well, you've upset Greta how? today because you've how? been on the back of how? the Harley Davidsons how? today. Yeah, or one yeah. of them, at least. There's, there's, there's... What will Greta say? I'm going to email her when I get home. <laughs> She's... Stephen Bartholomew Hughes <laughs> yeah. was on the back of my Harley today. What have you got to say about Thunberg? How dare you? How dare you steal my childhood? Anyway, here we are. Here we are. Shall we go onto the uh, wharf? Uh, you want to go on the wharf? Should Let's go out on the wharf. There's, there's a. Let's upset uh, some fisher people. <laughs> this is <laughs> a. Uh... Well, this will be wobbly. Have you got wobbly legs, Stephen? Yes. I need to stay close to you because you and I are sharing a mic as we did on the heavy set. <laughs> <laughs> is that all you're sharing? Yes. <laughs> you think you think with Pete being mic'd up, he'd actually say something? <laughs> So Steve, tell, tell, tell Well, he had thing. plenty to say in the f***ing 80s, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> now, Steve, Steve, Steve has 
He has an epiphany after we brought him down to this wonderful landscape. He is telling me quietly while we're having lunch at the Angler's Rest in uh, beside the Hawkesbury River that he has a great idea for an outdoor program, an outdoor landscape program, a, a lifestyle program. That's right. Tell us all about it, Steve. Tell the, tell the viewers. Hi, welcome to the great outdoors. My name's Steve. I'm exciting. You know, I'm not just your normal guy. I'm exciting. Uh, we used to have a word for that. It started with P. Anyway, mm. <laughs> welcome to the great outdoors. Today I'm going to show you some stuff. This is called water. Have a look. Have a look at this. You know, if you fall in there and you can't swim, basically you're f <laughs> That's right. Because, <laughs> because, 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 whoa. Oi! Hope you've got your C legs. Hey, A, B, C. You don't want your legs shaped like a C. Now, over there, we've got what they call mountains. That's right, mountains. Have a look. They're f***ing massive, aren't they? Right? Now, over there is another bridge, right? I don't know if it was built by the same lad that built this one, but they are remarkably similar. I, I, I'm, I'm betting they were. They look si very similar in design. They look very similar. It's an engineering sim marvel, I think, just to go over water. It's not, not go around, no, no, no. Don't worry about going around. I'm going to create a, a short a, a, a they obviously a got, shortcut. They obviously got to the edge and went, Bob, shall we go around? <laughs> I've right. seen the plaque. His name was Bob. <laughs> was it? Yeah. Bob Brooklyn. Bo Bobby Brooklyn. <laughs> Bobby Brooklyn. BB. <laughs> Oh, oh, BB came down here in the 1700s and whacked up a few bridges on Saturday afternoon. You know what um, they call him after he designed it? What? BB King. Hey, uh, <laughs> Thank you and good night. I think he appeared on uh, U2's fifth album. <laughs> <laughs> a master of the blues guitar and building bridges. BB <laughs> King. <laughs> you didn't know he was an engineer. He didn't know he was an engineer. Now, Steve, uh, sorry, yes. Pete. Pete hasn't said anything. Pete. Fondest memory of when we lived together in the late 80s in Parramatta. Fondest Leaving. memory. Leaving! <laughs> well, we had two cracks at that. I wrote a letter to save us after the first time, the first attempted eviction. Because, because you know what we did? Don't. No. No. Do you know what we did? Just no. We both had sex with the same We chick. had a... S <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Not at the same time. Uh, that, that would have been awkward. Pete? We had a spare refrigerator that didn't work. Did we? I don't remember that. And we got drunk one night and thought it might fly eight stories. Did we get into, yeah. a, did we get into a refrigerator after this beer? No, we didn't. There were heaps of bottles of bourbon beer. drunk there. Not the fridge. There was, no, no, it didn't go the over. contents of the fridge. No, the fridge had the... Uh, it was five floors, not eight. Is it, was it? Yeah. And a couch went over, We're on I think. The fifth floor. couch no, did no, go no, over. No, no, no. Anyway. My, one of my fondest <laughs> memories was the meals that Steve used to prepare. Now, us being metal folk, back in the day, we are all like Satan-like and all that sort of stuff. And so we wanted to draw up all these visions, in, invoke these visions of, of Well, evil. live heavy metal 24-7. Le leave he li we lived heavy metal 24-7. So what we used to do is we'd go down to the butcher and then we would come back and portion up the meat and then we would wrap it in foil. And it was Steve's idea to draw inverted crosses and bats and and moons and all that on them we gave the meals names like sausages of darkness <laughs> chicken breasts of deception so steve would Snags say Snags of doom yeah so pete might say what are we having for dinner for night tonight and i would say oh how about we whip up some cbod <laughs> some chicken. Chicken. Yeah, there's no more evil dinner than that <laughs> Right, so you folk out there that are much younger than us and think you've lived the metal life, you, you really haven't. Yeah, you really haven't. Not till you've had a CBOD. Not uh, li while listening to Mercil Fades, Don't Break the Oath. Yes, exactly. Mm. Right? Because I was deceived many times by these chicken breasts. Well, oh, I, was... I think a thigh might have slipped in there once or twice. <laughs> anyway, sure. back to the original yes, idea. The Here idea. we are, what, what, outdoors. Mm, right? What's the program going to be called? Outdoors. Oh, outdoors. Yeah, yeah. Metal outdoors. <laughs> metal outdoors. Come on down, like Bunnings, except you get a snag of doom. So, so, so this is this is what river? The Hawkesbury River, is it? This is the Hawkesbury River. So, opening scene, opening episode of your series, and go. Hi, Steve Hughes here, maker of the chicken breast of deception. I originally created that recipe in the '80s, and I've since then moved on through a different career, and now it's much more sensible. Thing. Much more sensible. We've decided to create a show for everybody out there called Outdoors. Here I am right now. <laughs> outdoors right if you don't know what outdoors means see we have doors they go either way right <laughs> now sometimes when you go one way into the door 
there's walls around you. That means you're indoors, right? If you go through the door the other way, bingo, you should be outdoors. That's where we are now. Now, lucky they don't have a door here that you may mistakenly walk through because then you go too far outdoors. In fact, not only would you be outdoors, but you'd be in water. Right, so there's a kind of in and out happening simultaneously. Maybe we could edit that with the B-roll. <laughs> we shall. There'll be a lot of editing. <laughs> the most I've ever had to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I now, now uh, <laughs> I would like to now, now breaking the intermission. I, I would like to bring everyone's attention to how stylish Steve looks with my perforated Harley Davidson jacket on. Very he's, head to toe. Because he's been on the back of my bike today. Oh, oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, hello. I've been in the UK. This is a little white. Might be blinding to you out there. I think you were that white before you left for the UK, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You brought up in the mountains. I have to put some... Yeah, that's right. I'm from the mountains. I've never seen the water. They told me about it once. We had a shower back in the 70s. But <coughs> since then, I've forgotten about it. And I've, I've, I started to think it was a myth. But here it is. <laughs> if you look over there... They're called barnacles. <laughs> no, not me. Those. <laughs> Those things. I am a barnacle. <laughs> Named after Bartholomew Barnacle. He was first down here with Mr. Brooklyn. He was building bridges. He, this guy was sticking himself to poles. He was Bobby's mate. <laughs> Bobby often mate. shared a barbecue together, working on the design of these iron bridges. Yeah. Bobby Brooklyn took yeah, all the credit. The Bobby print. Brooklyn took all the credit. Yeah. Little did they know that Christopher Barnacle played a lot. Well, Chris now, is he? just changed his name in the last 15 seconds. Yeah, well, who knows? <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. Why don't you just take your clothes off and swim to France? <laughs>